Welcome back to the Super Memory for Schools program. Let's learn about Unit 16, Inventions, Lesson 1 today. First, let's learn some words that will appear in the lesson. Papyrus, papyrus. It looks so strange, right? This is the type of paper that was used before we invented plain paper, and it was used in ancient times, most notably in Egypt. Factory foreman, factory foreman. Facsimile, facsimile. Device for transporting and converting documents, facsimile. Loudspeaker, loudspeaker. Optical fiber. Optical fiber. It looks pretty nice, doesn't it? And it's also very strange. When we use the internet, we frequently bring up the issue of fiber optic cable. And the optical fiber is the component contained within fiber optic cables that assists us in transmitting internet data to each other. Procedure. Procedure. When you arrive at the airport, we must follow the procedures. Conveyor belt, conveyor belt. Conveyor belts are frequently used in factories, manufacturing companies, and airports to transport luggage. Manufacture, manufacture. Liquefy, liquefy. Liquify is quite hard to pronounce, right? Taste, taste. The act of tasting when we cook or try some food, taste. And in today's grammar lesson, let's review together. In my opinion, one of the most difficult and important grammar topics in our 8th grade English program is the passive voice. Are you familiar with the image below? That's exactly what we learned about the passive voice in Unit 10, Lesson 10. Please review and recall what we used to talk about Lesson 10 in order to remember it and do well on it. First, we have to know the general formula of the passive voice. We will use passive voice to transform between the person who performs the action and the person who is affected by that action. We have the structural formula for active voice statement can be written as subject plus verb plus object. Moving on to the passive voice. We bring the sentence's object up front as the subject of the passive voice. And the subject of the active voice will become the object of the passive voice. Furthermore, the most difficult part is verb, which we will change to be V3ED. The V3ED is constant for all formulations. Only this B will be transformed into the various tenses. Look here. The transformation formula of the tense in passive voice types. Simple present was mentioned here. Past simple. Present perfect. Present continuous, and future and modal verbs. Let's review the formula. Simple present, subject plus verb, SES plus object is the active voice. And we will have the passive voice, subject plus M is R plus past participle and by object. Besides, we will have the passive formula of simple past, subject plus was were plus past participle plus by object. We have the passive formula of present perfect, subject plus have had plus been, been is highlighted, and verb 3 by object. Present continuous. 
subject plus am is are plus being and verb 3 ed. We haven't learned the past continuous in the unit 10. By the way, the past continuous is extremely simple. We can use was were plus being instead of using am is are plus being. It is the same, right? And the modal verb. Subject plus modal verb plus be plus v3 ed. That is the second note when we need to do the exercise, the ways to transform the formula. The third note. You can see when we transform, the by objects will appear. What are the situations in which we don't need to use by object in the passive voice? That is, when the subject is one of the seven basic subjects. I, you, we, they, he, she, it. We don't need to use by object in transforming the passive voice. And the identified pronouns people or subject plus one, someone, anyone, everyone with subject plus thing, something, anything, everything, or subject plus body, somebody, anybody, everybody. We will not use by object in the passive voice. The fourth note. If we transform the active voice into passive voice, auxiliary components will inevitably occur. And we'll sort these auxiliary components in unique order. Please take note. Place by time. Place. The components of place and venue will be put in first. By. By object. Finally, time. The components in terms of time groups such as yesterday, next week, etc. will be put last. Let's do it. We will remember the following examples. John gave Lisa a present. Now, let's determine parts of this sentence. Subject is John. Verb is gave. Object is Lisa. We will transform Lisa from object into subject. And the verb we're defining is conjugated in the past simple. The structure of past simple is was, were, plus v3ed. And we change gave. We will have the passive voice was given a present by John. Next, the second example. He will buy a new car next month. He will buy a new car next month. Let's determine together. He is subject. Will buy. Will buy is the conjugated verb in future tense or the group of modal verb. A new car is object and Next month is the auxiliary component, right? So, a new car will be a subject of passive voice. Will buy is arranged in the group modal verb and we will transform it into will be v3ed bought. Now, we also have the by object, haven't we? No, because he is in the group without having by object. So, we just have the passive voice. A new car will be bought next month. That's all. We will continue with the following example. Nam walks the dogs around the park every day. Let's determine together. Nam is subject. Walks is verb. Walks is conjugated in the present simple. The dogs is object. Around the park every day is the auxiliary component. So let's transform the sentence. As the subject of the passive voice, the dogs is brought to the front. The structure in present simple passive voice is R plus V3ED walked because R is conjugated by the subject, the dogs, around the park by Nam every day. We have to arrange in the correct order because around the park, the first auxiliary component is the phrase indicating place and by Nam is by object. And finally, it is every day time, place by time follows the rule. Now, let's summarize what we have learned today. We have some vocabularies. Papyrus. Papyrus. A type of paper that was used in ancient times. Factory foreman. Factory foreman. Facsimile. Facsimile. Loudspeaker. Loudspeaker. 
Optical fiber. Optical fiber. Procedure. Procedure. Conveyor belt. Conveyor belt. Manufacture. Manufacture. Liquify. Liquify. Taste. Taste. In addition, we reviewed how to use passive voice. Please remember the principles when we use passive voice. In general, the formulas change when we transform from active voice into passive voice in specific tenses. Third, in what situations will we not use by object? Finally, take note of the following. The auxiliary components will be determined by three groups. Place, by object, and time. Place, by time. That's all for today, which we need to remember in this unit of lesson. See you in the next Super Memory for Schools program. Goodbye, see you again.